Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Afternoon tea in hand, yay! Thank you so much for joining me. I'm still in the making Christmas gifts uh, mode right now. And um, so I made a couple of journals, one for my granddaughter and one for my grandson. And I used the embossing machine on one, and I know that some of you do not have an embossing machine, so I used a non-embossing <laughs> machine on the second one to show you what I would do. And it's made with a brown paper bag all scrunched up. And, um, oh, I manipulated the wrinkles on the cover so that they, it looked leathery, kind of a little bit more manly for Lucas. So that was really, really fun. I want to do a shout out to those people that have bought me a coffee, a cuppa, a warm comforting beverage. I have it on the list right here on my computer. Charlene, Jan, Alex, Alexandra, Carol, Alan, Barbara, Kim, and also Denise uh, and Denise. There's two Denises that have purchased some of my art uh, off my website and I appreciate that. And my Christmas sales of my ornaments and my little key fobs Thank you for ordering those as well. I do have the traveling collage kits left on the website if you're looking for a fun gift for uh, an artist or a grandchild that enjoys collages and creating books. So there you have it. All right, uh, like I say, still in the mode of creating those Christmas gifts, those journals without an embosser today. So. See you on the table. All right, here's your projects for today. I took a couple of uh, composition books and uh, recovered them. Put a pocket inside, a little pen holder. This is Ellie's. This is Lucas's. I used a brown paper bag on his. No embossing machine, just hand crinkling this. His has a uh, three envelopes in here, a map on the inside of the front and the back, and the brown paper bag crinkled on the back as well. So on the inside of Ellie's I put um, some scrapbook paper to decorate the insides. Stays on ink, Mod Podge, paper, composition books that I picked up for a buck. Good morning. Dark o'clock, coffee in hand. I'm making a journal for my grandson. Um, so I have paper bags, bits and pieces of paper, paper bags. I'm going to scrunch them up and put them in water. do this to all of the pieces and then I'm going to take them to a 200 degree oven and dry them back out. I'm going to leave them scrunchy though, as scrunchy as they'll stay. As you can see they like to open back out but that's okay. I ended up laying the brown paper bag pieces in the water and then just scrunching them. It was easier. So I'd get them all wet, scrunch them and then we'll bake them. While those pieces of brown paper bag are drying, I'm bringing in a map. I'm going to trace that around the book. Now, this is a book that I got. You can get them at the dollar store for, obviously, a dollar. <laughs> And with Mod Podge, I'll glue a map to the front and a map to the back, hiding all that stuff. I'm not going to put Mod Podge on the top. I will just leave that with a, the flat finish. Water on it. That'll be okay. I'll do the same thing on the back. Mod Podge map, no Mod Podge. 
I'm going to take three envelopes, put Mod Podge on the flap here. I don't know if this is how Jill did it or not, but she rang my bell about this. Glue that down. Mod Podge on this flap. Then I have a trifold envelope. I have a little bit of the map left. So I'm going to glue the map on the exterior envelope, the top envelope. Cut off the extra. Apply Mod Podge to my workspace is still wet. Uh, Mod Podge to the center envelope. Glue that into the notebook. Then we have a nice pocket on the interior. I'm going to go around the edge and remove the excess map. These composition books are kind of shiny. I'm going to bring in my sanding block and just scruff this up a little bit so that the brown paper bags will stick better. So I scratched up the front and the back. Now I'm going to apply some of the uh, squares or pieces of crinkly brown paper bag. I tore them into smaller pieces like this. Put that down. Really encourage some of those wrinkles to remain. So I'm really using my fingers to encourage the wrinkling of the, of the brown paper bag. I am going to make a pen holder. Take a piece of that brown paper bag. Fold that in half. set that aside to dry. I'm going to peel this up a little bit and put my pen holder in there. And I'll finish putting brown paper bag on this. Now you can make this as crinkly or as flat as you want. I wanted it pretty crinkly, as you can see. Lovely Mod Podge fingers. Um, <laughs> hi, yay, yay. Um, and we'll let that dry. All right, this is the other uh, notebook that I'm working on, composition notebook. This is for Ellie. And so what I did is I took scrapbook paper and ran it through the cuddle bug and glued it down and then put uh, mustard stays on on it 
and then hit the edge with the Timber Brown uh, stays on. So that's what I did here. I'm going to take the scraps and I'm going to glue those on the back with some Mod Podge. Uh, hopefully I have enough to cover the book. We shall see. We'll just use the scraps. Use what you have. The scrapbooking paper is a little bit stiffer uh, so it embosses quite nicely. And I'm just going to willy-nilly put pieces of the scraps on the back of the composition book. Okay, scrapbook paper down with Mod Podge. Had enough to cover everything. Pen holder. We're going to set this aside and let this dry. Alright, the front is almost dry. Listen to that. Oh, so yummy. I'm going to do the same thing to the back. Mod Podge paper. Encourage the wrinkles. Let it dry. Okay, the back is covered with a brown paper bag. Not too much manipulating. You can see the crinkles opposed to the really pressed in and manipulated crinkles. And we are going to let that dry. Alright, let's finish this one. I'm going to bring in my mustard stays on ink. Go over the seams and the embossing. the edges with Timber Brown stays on. Alright, Ellie's is complete. I put some scrapbook paper and a pocket here that I sewed and some scrapbook paper back here to finish the book. We'll set that aside and let that dry. This is not completely dry but I'm okay with that. I'm going to bring in the Timber Brown stays on and catch some of these wrinkles. back. These are the smaller wrinkles. Just as yummy. Alright, here's the yummy front of this one. And the pockets. One, two, and three. The maps inside the covers. And the yummy back. These will flatten out. I'll put my rice bag on them and they will be nice and flat. And they are ready to mail off for Christmas gifts. Your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. Nothing like handmade Christmas gifts. Here's a little bonus project. This is a notebook that Patricia had made for me and I had used up all the pages. Laura had sent me some paper. So I repurposed the little notebook. So much fun. Morning. Dark o'clock coffee in hand in this gorgeous mug. Uh, this is a notebook that was given to me by Patricia and I've used all the pages uh, to-do lists and mini journaling and I'm not ready to give this up so what I'm going to do is remove all the pages And this is some yummy paper that Laura sent me. So I am going to fold each piece in half, bone folder it, so it's nice and creased. Stack all these pages back together. This 
set that up pretty much in the center. Paper clip those in place. Bring in my crocodile and a large eye blunt nose needle. And I'll bring in some twine. We're going to go uh, four times, mm, three times. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to go four just to make sure that I have more than enough. Bring in my crocodile. I have it on the small hole. Go to the center or about the center. Pop a hole. Pop a hole near the top. And near the bottom. Bring in my twine. Start in the center, go down in, out, top, in, back through the center, up, make sure I have one string on one side, one string on the other, bring it nice and tight. tie it off. And we have just repurposed a lovely little notebook. So thank you Patricia and Laura. This paper hangs off. I love that. And ta-da! A repurposed little notebook. Your turn. Go create. Go play, go have fun. You can put some beads on here. I keep this in my purse, so I don't want any beads on it. Just trim off that extra. Beautiful.